guys welcome back to another video on the channel this is one man army here playing some arc survival evolved mobile uh today our plan is to try to tame a basilis basilosaurus um no it's not the uh snake off of harry potter guys don't get excited um <laughs> it's just a uh, water dinosaur but uh that's the plan uh we've just been kind of running around on our um Ted here. It's weird that stopped me. And uh, gathering meat and hide and just leveling him up since we haven't got to use him because we just made a saddle for him. We hadn't had it learned yet. As you can see, he's uh, very, very powerful. Ooh, if it'll let me hit. He hits hard, my guy. Alright, so we're going to kill this Stego. And then we'll head back to base. Alright, let's go. We'll get stamina first. Anyway, so we're going to go to the base. We're going to grab our frog. And our um, prime meat off our Argentavis and biotoxins as well. Biotoxins in case we find an electric eel, we can tame it. And the uh, prime meat is for the basilisk. It is cooked prime meat. Raw prime would tame it a lot faster, but I doubt I could keep raw prime that long. As you can see, Ted here is very fast. And I don't know what in the world was going on with that. It made the noise like it was opening, but never opened. Alright. Okay, we're going to fix this issue right now. Yep, there we go. See what I mean, guys? Turn off game sound. Boom. Issue fixed. Isn't that ridiculous i think it's ridiculous i think it's ridiculous that the game sounds like it lags so much that's our fabricator i need ted okay let's take all of this and all of this and go here which should have fuel in it turn on put all this and we're gonna let that cook also we um See if I have anything else I need to drop off in here. Uh, yeah, let's grab this hide and this chitin. We'll put the or yeah, chitin. We'll put the chitin in the uh, Kim bench with all our other chitin. Then we'll put the hide over here in the smithy because we do need more hide in here. Oh, I don't know why I'm doing that. I'm confused. Okay. Uh, the raw prime should be cooked prime now. Yes. Go ahead and take that cooked meat because my guy is always a hungry guy. So. Alright, I'm full. Just get back on Ted. And we'll go out to the uh, RG and get the uh, ingredients we need. Okay. Okay, so we're going to park. I guess I'm going to park him on the other side. I can get him through here, right? Perfect. He's having a bit of a glitch spot right there. Okay. And I love that. Whenever you get off, you still stand on their saddle because they're so big. Uh, and uh, our little Roxy is almost full grown as well. And she is a level 33, which is great. Alright, so. Let's uh, find our bird. I think our bird is actually out here. Raven, there you are. So, I think I'm just going to grab 
50 of it. And then we're going to grab this. Uh, do you have any raw meat on you? Yes. Transfer. We're just going to take it all because uh, I'm going to put it on my frog. That way I can also put the raw prime on my frog and don't have to worry about him eating it. So, here he is. With stuff on him. We don't need to hide that bad. All right, all stacks. All right. Hop on him. As you can see, he is a um very fast swimmer. It can be difficult to control him sometimes. <laughs> All right. We're here. We're on our boat. We're good to go. Let's see if we can go find a, um, a Bastlosaurus. <laughs> All right. On the move. So we're just going to go out here, and then we're just going to kind of uh, jump in with our frog. Here, buddy. Just like so. Uh, and see what we see. So we're, we got to go to the deep end, but I was hoping there might be one close by. Maybe even a, um, oh, you know what? I should probably go put my ghillie suit on. There are electric eels that come up in here sometimes. Oh, let's back up. There we go. All right, let's uh, put on our ghillie suit. And for those of you that don't know how I just accessed my character's inventory while on my creature, because I literally, I don't know, maybe I'm just an idiot and I just never knew this, but uh, you literally tap both fingers on the left side of your screen, like your index finger and your thumb, and it brings up your character's inventory. Or you can just click the inventory box and it'll bring up your dino's inventory that you're writing. Now the only way to access your character's inventory when you're on the dino is to click with your thumb and finger. So, just a little bit of advice that some of you might not have known. And uh, we're going to go back to it. So I think I'm going to go deep. Like deep, deep. I do have the frog, so I don't have to worry about running out of stamina. Um, I would like to get um, one of them, um, what do you call them? Salamander looking things. Because whenever you have those with you underwater, they give you oxygen. So you don't have to uh, have a scuba tank or come up for air. So that's really cool. I believe they have to, I don't think they ride you unless they change that. I think they just, they're just near you. You just have them on follow. Anyway, let's go back in. Swim around and see what we see. We got a Megalodon that's coming right for me. Level 2. Oh, actually, he don't see me because of uh, my ghillie suit. Ooh, there's a uh, eel. There you go. Ooh, a level 29. Let's see if I can get him to follow me. I think I can outrun him. Oh, yep, he's coming. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. Ugh. Okay. Do we see him anywhere? I think I'm going to take the monkey off just because I don't want to lose him so let's just whistle all stop all stop and then go back to that all right there he is come here buddy
It's really nerve-wracking trying to tame these things, if I'm being completely honest. Okay, let me, um... Oh, shit. Let me just get on the boat. Oh, and it's doing the... Oh, and I can't get back up there. Fuck. Oh, oh. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. I gotta go. It's not gonna let me back up because of the glitch. Oh man. Okay, so I'm just gonna try to uh, feed him real quick. Shit, everything's on my frog. I might die here. Oh yeah, I'm so screwed. Oh, he's gonna kill me. I'm gonna be near shore though, so I'll be able to get my stuff back, but... Yeah, I don't think I'm going to make it. I'm just going to die right here. Ugh. Oh, man. That hurt, guys. But the good news is he's near shore now, so I'm going to get back up here. And those jellyfish will mark him for me, so I'm going to get away so he doesn't notice me anymore. Alright, we're going to go down here. Uh, let me restart my game real quick. We'll be right back. Alright guys, we're back. Um, so, the eel's over there. There are some jellyfish here that I need to get rid of before I go back in the water. Come here, guys. Come here. I'm hoping I can kill them before they shock the shit out of me. Nope. Okay. Okay, that's okay. That's okay. That's okay. That's okay. I'm okay. Okay. Let's heal up a little bit. I'm going to eat. That should give me some health. All right. I'm not sure where the electric eel went. But I still got my ghillie suit. I'm hoping nothing else sees and attacks me. Where's my raft? There it is. I don't see the electric eel. That's a bummer. Oop, let's get on my raft because there's a jellyfish coming after me. Okay. I'm going to go over here and see if the eel is still here. And let's see if we can't uh, kill these jellyfish. Oh, we put these arrows on. They should kill them fairly easy. Yep. They're both dead. One more shot. And done. Alright. It's always good to collect more biotoxin, guys. And I don't see our... There he is. There he is. I see him. Okay, let's go. There he is. Perfect. And this is a high level one as well. So this will be a good tame. Um, let me grab the biotoxins off the frog. Transfer. Let me put them here. And then you just walk up to him. You feed him. You don't want to feed yourself this stuff, guys. Because it will knock you out fast. But this is a really good one. Oh, so basically if he goes in the water, you just want to kind of bring him back. See, because he's always out to get me. Uh, 
No, I need to uh bring this thing out. Uh, do I feed him again? <gasps> oh fuck! I consumed it. Yeah, I'm about to go uncon. I am about to go uncon. I don't have any stem berries. Yep. Well, now you guys know what happens if you eat um, biotoxins. And it I believe it does damage to you as well, so. You do not want to eat biotoxins, guys. It's not good. Not good for you. Okay, we're back. Eel is still there. Fantastic. We'll get him to come over. Yep. Come, 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 come. Come, come, come. Oh, yep. He shocked me. Okay. I just need to... Oh. Okay. Let's get up on shore. Perfect. Feed him. Yep. I'm hurting. Oh, he's hungry again. Feed him. I hate that it's uh, floating way up there. It's quite annoying. Come here, come back, come back, come back, come back. Come back. Come on, come back, come back. I don't want to get in the water too close to him because he's going to shock me like that and it's going to kill me. Because I'm now almost dead. Yeah, I got a broken leg. This is not easy. Oh, what did I feed him? Did I feed him? Ugh. Oh. I consumed biotoxins, guys. I tried to feed him and I consumed it. So we're going to spawn back at bed and we're going to go back over there. We gotta be quick, gotta be quick. Come on, get up, get up, get up, get up, get up. Come on, come on, come on. Come on. Come on, let's go. Come on. There we go. Oh, don't tell me my game's about to crash. Oh boy. Go, 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 go. Just leave the gate open. We gotta get back quick because um we'll lose taming effectiveness and have to start all over and it's quite frustrating. I have to start all over. Alright, we're going. We're almost there. Come on, come on, come on. Uh, take all. Perfect. Where's he at? Where's he at? Where's he at? There he is. Come here. Come here, buddy. Come here, I'm here. Come eat me. Come here. Alright, here he comes. Alright, now we're going to feed him. Perfect. We're just going to kind of keep him over here. Make sure he stays after us. Just keep poking our bodies in the water and then back out. Yep, there he goes. He's staying nice and close. Oh, and he's tamed, guys. Here we go. Boom, level 43. That is really good, guys. That is really good. Fantastic. Now, I'm not sure. I don't think you can put a saddle on these things. No. Oh, wait. Offhand. So you can put a helmet, but no saddle. Okay, we're going to take that. Um, and we're going to grab the raft. And we're going to go back over toward their base. And he should be down there following us. Perfect. We now have an electric eel, guys, and a high level at that, which will be wonderful. Yep, he's super fast, which is what I expected. Yep. 
Yeah, taming eels is not easy, guys. If I'm being completely honest, though, that was my first time ever taming one, so I'd say I did a pretty good job. I only died once. I got him to shore. Here he is. We're going to bring him over here. All right, then we're going to whistle all stop. Hold on, guys. All right, anyway, guys. Sorry about that. We had a little bit of a distraction there. Um, all right, let's see. We're going to name him Voltage because uh, I think that is the perfect name for him. I love how we went from trying to tame a Basilosaurus to taming this. Voltage. Okay. And we're going to put him on neutral. Uh, oh, I think my tribe mate just saw. <laughs> he just saw that I tamed him. <laughs> Uh, what's up, buddy? This is my tribe bait morph. Say hi to morph, everyone. Make sure you say hi to morph in chat. Morph's been uh, breeding and uh, doing lots and lots of cool things here. Oh, and I'm stuck. Let me tell him to come see you real quick. But yeah, guys, so we, we got an eel. The next step is to find a Basilosaurus, but um, it's turning night, so we're going to end up do waiting until day to do that. Um, as y'all can see, I've added some upgrades to the base. I put water pipes going all the way up to our cooking pot up top. So that way we don't have to keep on jumping down to fill up our water skins every single time because it's quite annoying. Anyway, so, um, they lay eggs like the frog. No shit. No shit. LOL. Okay, so, we've got the eel. We've, um, we've got a giga over here. I haven't showed you guys that, uh, whenever I got offline last night because I was tired and ready to go to sleep, uh, Morph and our ally went and tamed this Giga, so that's great. Um, we got our uh, Bigfoots breeded, so we'll go in here and take a look at that real quick. I think I might have already mentioned it, but uh, maybe not. We'll see. So where is she? There's Pregnant Mama right there. She was uh, 19, level 19 when we tamed her. Um, hopefully she'll give us a good baby, like a level 33 or 35 would be great. Would actually be fantastic, because whenever I tamed him, he was a level 30, and he hits hard. Now, we also have, uh, this guy, which is almost fully grown. Well, I'm sorry. This girl, Roxy, um, she, uh was born level 33 as you can see level 33 we haven't been able to put any levels into her yet because she's not fully grown if you could um okay interesting um i mean i got this pterodon the other day i named him midnight it was a level 28 when i tamed it 
We're going to do stamina. My tribe mate tamed the Equus. He's been trying to get one for a while. He named it Mugen. Or I guess that's how you say that name. I'd also tamed this scorpion the other day. Right there. That It was a level 29. And I was about to kill it with my Bigfoot. And uh, realized what level it was. And decided to wait and let it heal and tame it. So I did that. And as you guys may know. Oh, I guess he's still on the raft. But our little monkey is full grown. Yeah, so he's talking about murdering our babies. So basically we have um, a certain, only a certain number of tames that you can have, which makes sense because if everyone just had unlimited tames, this game, the servers would constantly crash and go to shit. I mean, they already crash every now and then out of nowhere. So uh, if everyone just had unlimited tames, it would literally make it impossible to do anything in this game. So uh, let's see, we have 69 out of 78 tames, so... Do what you gotta do. Just make sure we keep male and female to breed. All right, so I think we're going to just go ahead and... Uh, Wait till day and go out again and see if we can get a basilisk. Um, but that I think that's going to be in the next video, guys, because we're going on uh, 30 minutes here. Uh, we did succeed in finding an eel, a good eel at that. I honestly didn't care what level it was. I just wanted an eel. Um, so we got that. In the next video, we will be hopefully taming a basilisk or a spino, whichever comes first. I might go out spino hunting. Um, if I do end up finding a spino, though, guys, um, I will record... Uh, knocking it and getting it tamed and stuff and bringing it back to base and playing around with it a little bit for you guys. Um, but anyway, without further ado, uh, I am One Man Army. This is Ark Survival Evolved Mobile Edition, and I will see you guys in the next one. Have a good one. Uh, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the little bell for the notifications and share with your friends so they can all come subscribe and watch.